Hello, and happy Pentecost Sunday. Today, the reflection is the last one in the Thy Kingdom Come initiative, and the topic is Pentecost. We celebrate this special event today as we rejoice in the gift of the Holy Spirit to Jesus' followers throughout history. As it says in Acts 2, when the day of Pentecost came, all the believers were gathered together in one place. Suddenly there was a noise from the sky which sounded like a strong wind blowing, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. This picture of the Holy Spirit can be troubling because who can control the wind? Who can predict its pattern or pathway? As we see in John 3 verse 8, the wind blows where it chooses and you, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. I was talking to a family friend yesterday whose wife was on a sailing trip. trip. He said it had been really good because although the weather had been grey and dismal, there had been plenty of wind, which is what you need when you're sailing. This reminded me of a passage in the Thy Kingdom Come prayer journal. We're talking about an interview with a woman who had circumnavigated the globe single-handed. She was asked about the most terrifying moments of storms and gales. Her answer was that those moments weren't the most frightening times by far. The most frightening times were when there was no wind and there was no movement for days. Incidentally, if we're talking about storms, the new prayer walk around the church um, by Ruth Davis talks about what to do in life storms. And it's just brilliant. I recommend anybody to go around that church pathway. We need the wind of the spirit to blow. We need his spirit to warm us, guide us, support us, sustain us, heal us. The Holy Spirit is exciting and can move in places where we least expect it. So let's pray for that movement of the spirit today. Dear Lord Jesus, please let your Holy Spirit fill us today. Help us to hear and follow. Help us to listen and speak the words you want us to say. We especially pray for our five friends today, but help us not to limit your spirit as we pray for revival in your church in these times. In your precious name. Amen.